You may have heard the latest songs of DK, Konye Beat, uh, Kereka, and Willie Paul's Tam Tam. Well, they've been produced by Jumbo Sound Records, and we're here to meet the man behind that. They've made music their business. In the recent years, the Kenyan music industry has experienced a rapid growth. This is attributed to the growth in the entertainment industry, with music being practiced as a career by the local artists. Most, if not all, artists and other industry players are making it big in the industry, exhibiting that the music industry is still virgin. Meet Geoffrey Kamau, known to many as Jeffa Flex. He is a budding entrepreneur who has recently ventured into the music industry. We come from a family where we love music. Our parents used to love music. As well. So through that we can say our, uh, our family loves music because some of us used to sing. We also have people like Emmanuel. Emmanuel used to do video production. As for me, I love music but I don't know how to sing. So I saw the only way to participate or to become part of it is maybe to start a studio. He collaborated with his brothers to initiate Jumbo Sound Records three months ago. We are in business at the same time. We're trying to explore new talents. What we believe, once you come to Jumbo Rock Sound Records and you are an upcoming artist, you must be a star. Because we have people like uh, our producer Teddy B. He's one of the best producers I've, I've ever seen, I've ever met, I've ever had, because I believe in his music. Coming from a family that is empowered musically, he opted to delve into the venture as a music producer. To date, the studio has been on a speedy growth attracting both new and renowned music artists. We have uh, Size 8, the current reborn Size 8. We also have uh, Guardian Angel. We also have Willie Paul. We have uh, Hope Kid. Uh, and we have many more. Yeah, I believe Jumbo Sound Records, it's a... Uh, Okay, someone else may see it maybe as a small studio, but as for me, I see it as a big studio and I know we're heading somewhere because mostly what we keep Jumbo Sound Record is time yeah, and duration of the song. When you come here, you do your track, we tell you maybe after one month, unless you decide it to stay maybe more than a month, but uh, after one month, our producer is done with every, everything. The business records a maximum of three songs per day at a cost of 15,000 shillings per song. But if you come to record an album, we'll make it flexible, yeah, depending on how we, we begin with you. The studio has also encountered major challenges, but has been quick to convert them into valuable lessons that define their success. Mm, for a studio, I can tell it's so hard, always you are normally minimi. Was what one attacker. So when we're doing our part, we're playing our part, the challenges in Israel are Uju Kama Itakubalika, Ama Itakatalika. Yeah, those are the only challenges because uh, once we do the song, we expect it to be a hit song. So Ikifika Uko in a backfire, that's the, the challenge. But to overcome them, before we release a song from Jumbo Sun Records, we involve so many brains, people who matter in that part of it. When I could and ask about sound, how is it? Or ask the vocals, how is it? Then after they approve it, it was to make release. They have learned that to be the best in the industry, you have to learn from your counterparts and improve on their weaknesses. We also try to see what other people do out there uh, internationally. Uh, and we try to reflect it back to our studio, to Nona Niwapindo, to Kodnini, so that's how we grow. Jeffrey is determined to break the business even, play a major role in identifying and nurturing new talent in music. Currently, we're trying to open a modeling agency, whereby we'll be having our own models. When we want to do maybe a video, we have uh, actors acting it, we have... Um, Dancers, our own dancers, yeah. 
The proprietor is determined in setting up several branches in the Kenyan major towns. He believes to be successful in any venture, one has to make that bold move and walk the journey. All my dreams are valid. Yeah. After I read the Bible, uh, that's what I normally tell myself. And I uh, also read, the, I, I like this book, Deuteronomy 2013, because it says, uh, the Lord shall always make me the head, but not the head. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. The secret of getting started is breaking your complex, overwhelming tasks into smaller, manageable tasks. And then, starting on the first one. Mark Twain, American humorist and author. Sadly, we've come to the end of our first segment of the show tonight on The Entrepreneur. And I like the slogan of these guys. They say that this is business and music is their business. You've heard it and I know you've learned something from what this guy Jeff has said. We have another inspiring story after this commercial break. In the meantime, we value your feedback. So write to us on the social media pages that are on your screen right now. Facebook, Twitter and email and also the SMS number that is on your screen right now. In the meantime, they told me that I have a good voice, so I want to check whether they will do some voice there for me, okay? So let me do some voice. Welcome back to the show. If you're joining us, we're in the second segment of The Entrepreneur. And tonight, we are in the music industry. Hello. Our first guest runs a studio and is a music producer. This second guest teaches people how to run a studio, how to be a music producer, how to play music instruments. He did it also as a business. This is the owner of Kamata Music School. Join me. Kamata School of Music and Entertainment is a household name in Kenya. Since inception in the year 2007, it has played a key role in training people in various entertainment aspects, including how to play various music instruments. We may mainly teach music, um, stuff like the guitar uh, being one of the most popular instruments and that has uh, elicited a lot of interest. And piano, drums, violin, saxophone, um, clarinet, recorder, pretty much all instruments we do teach. We teach singing and uh, if you want to be a good singer, uh, come and learn with us, we'll make you a very, very good singer. Uh, so we teach the, the technical aspects and like for example singing. Um, any, everyone can sing and uh, sometimes people don't realize that because they do it wrong. And we, we come and we teach you the correct technique. Joseph Kamata prides himself to be the proprietor of the outfit. We teach music production. If you want to become a music producer, we'll help you do that. Uh, we teach DJing, we teach dancing, that's ballet, salsa, uh, contemporary dances, we teach them. Uh, and we cover very widely in the areas of music and entertainment. Born and raised in Nairobi, the parents realized his interest in music at an early age and played a key role in nurturing him. And I would encourage parents out there to go ahead and let their children get exposed early. And when I was in Form 2 in high school, I was taken to a music school and I learned the piano. And later on, I went to campus at the University of Nairobi. And at that point, I really, I was studying economics. Um, I, I got this great passion in music and joined uh, a band that used to play on Fridays. So it was called The Journey. Uh, maybe some people who I knew and I would identify with that. And um, that group, I realized I had something that, that, that could be very useful to many people and I, and I, could, uh, I could do as a business as well. 
Upon completing his university education and getting his first job, he made savings and also sought assistance from the parents to initiate the business. I was still in employment, so what I was earning went into the business as well. And also my parents helped me a lot uh, because um, they helped me especially uh, because my, my father uh, had, uh, had, had gotten up a space in town. And so he subletted me one of the spaces in, in, in the building. And so that, that made my work easier because getting a premises all on my own would have been a very big challenge. And then uh, from there I bought some instruments with the money I had gotten for my savings. I bought some guitars, keyboard, and we were off. The business was initiated with a starting capital of 300,000 Kenya shillings. <laughs> business can be, can, can, can be really tough and at some point we've, I gave up. I will tell you the first year when, he, when I began this business and took, when I took that step of opening a premises in town, uh, about the first six months we got, uh, I think no client whatsoever, we got zero clients and I was paying rent. I was paying a lot of expenses. I was trying to put some money into advertisement and I got nothing. I remember the turnaround of this business, I took leave. It was a study leave from the company I was working for. I was going to sit my exams. And I think, I don't know what came into my mind. When I came, instead of going to do the exams, I put my foot to make the business kick. So I did a lot of campaign. Uh, I, I, I had no employees at that time. Uh, it was just me and I was working with my brother. Uh, my brother has really come in through, we've worked together. Uh, he's called Kemo, he's a music producer and uh, also in Samawati Band. And Samawati Band is actually one of our in-house bands. Uh, I went around myself from cyber to cyber putting posters and trying to tell those guys to help me advertise the school and I, I did it myself because I, I didn't have uh, guys to work with and I ended up not sitting my, my exams. I was doing CPAs, I, I missed the papers for that sitting but that one month made a difference because um, by the time I returned to my job that I, some clients started coming in and people started getting interested and in getting to know a bit of who we are and from that time we have been very aggressive um, putting our name out there and now we could arguably be one of the biggest, if not the best, school of music and entertainment in the country currently. After seven years in business, the business broke even and has been on a steady growth. It has several branches in Nairobi and other major towns. So one of what makes us uh, be at the top of the entertainment chain or schools is um, having a very, very well packaged structure of um, curriculum, I would say. We do have very qualified staff, uh, you know, teachers, and we don't only, we don't only look at their qualifications, their academics, but we also insist that once you join us as a tutor, you must dedicate yourself to research. You cannot be a teacher of music and you don't do research. You, you're not trying to find out what's new, what's better, what's... Um, we, we dedicate hours and hours in research and trying to find and, and trying to come up with things that are that improve uh, the, 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 the music industry and curriculum. The company's clientele is diverse. Music is universal, so that makes our clientele very wide. We teach children from five years and um, sometimes even a little younger than that. We teach adults. Uh, we have had a bit elderly people. We have had um, about, uh, we recently had a man who was about 68 years old who came and learned the guitar and completely enjoyed it. Kamata School of Music and Entertainment currently has 20 members of staff and has devised their syllabus to cover major areas in entertainment and produce quality candidates. Since inception, they have trained more than 3,500 students. In a month, they can train more than 150 students at a minimum cost of 29,000 shillings per course. Existence of the institution has led to improvement in quality of Kenyan artists and music producers. Vigorous marketing has also seen the institution also get clients from regional states like Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi and as far as Nigeria. 
be cautious because a business that is not very much ventured into might be a very tough business. If you see, this is, if you're trying to come up with your, do something that is, there are not many people doing it. It tells you, many people are afraid to do it. And so you need to fold up your sleeves. You need to be tough to venture into an area that is not very much ventured into. Be ready for tough times. And uh, when the tough time comes, um, you're not going to die. The institution is on a rapid growth path and is working towards opening more branches in other counties to train budding artists, music producers and DJs. We currently have two branches in Nairobi and um, we're also in Meru, in Meru at uh, Jenipo. We are going to, we plan to have about three more branches in Nairobi um, next year. Uh, we shall be in Gong Road uh, and Mombasa Road and um, Langata Road. Uh, currently we're in Westlands and we're in town. And then we also want to now venture into the counties uh, so that we are in, in more counties. And that is the immediate uh, short-term plan that we have that we are going to execute in probably the next six months. As an, as an entrepreneur, you learn every day. You keep your eyes open. You keep your ears open and you keep on learning. And you respect learning and you respect res listening to the people who have gone before you. Not necessarily to copy them. Because you don't want to live in history. The way we conducted business, the way I began a microcredit, a microcredit program in 1993, 1991, sitting around a, a, a tree in Karatina or Kilifi, around a tree, which I still pay respect to when I go to these areas, and discussing how to lend 5,000 to the women. It's not the same today. Now, my staff, our staff, are sending, are using, you know, um, uh, 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 SMS to send money, you know, the, uh, the, the, there's technology that is being used now. So they don't have to do it the same, but it's good to listen. There's value in listening. They need to learn to, to listen. We have come to the end of the show tonight and I hope you've learned something from our two guests who are in the music industry. And I believe as an entrepreneur, you can do any kind of business. Please get in touch on our social media pages that are on your screen right now. Facebook, it is KTN The Entrepreneur. Our Twitter handle is KTN Entrepreneur. Our email address is entrepreneur at stonamedia.co.ke. There is also an SMS number on your screen at the corner. From the team and I, it is good night and God bless you. See you next week, same time, same place. I want to see if I have learned something tonight to play some drums. So just check it out.